Over the last few days, you may have seen this disturbing video that is going viral showing the disgusting act of Carson Briere, son of newly announced Flyers GM and former NHL player Danny Briere. In the security footage from Sullivan's Pub in Erie, Pennsylvania, you can see Carson alongside some of his hockey teammates talking at the top of a flight of stairs, at which point another one of their teammates comes up and seems to bring their attention to a wheelchair at the top of the stairs. Now quickly, Julia Zakowski, who posted this security footage shared that the only reason the chair was at the top of the stairs was because the washrooms being at the bottom of the stairs meant the wheelchair user had to be carried down the stairs to use the washroom. So seeing the temporarily vacant chair, Carson decides to sit down in it and that alone I learned could damage the chair as the brakes were likely locked but regardless this isn't your property. Clearly you shouldn't be messing with or sitting in it but what's far worse is that his teammate seems to get the chair in position to roll it down the stairs at which point Carson goes ahead and swings at it and the chair goes flying as the two just casually walk away like they didn't just destroy someone's means to getting around. And that's honestly what maybe caught me off guard the most here. The complete disregard and arrogance of their body language here. Just knowing he's the son of a millionaire former NHLer, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. These chairs can cost thousands of dollars as I've learned, require custom fitting for those who require them, and therefore can take months to fix. The chair is obviously a means of mobility, an extension of oneself. So this kind of garbage is just inexcusable. And note, he's not just some kid either. He's a 23-year-old grown man doing this. And this isn't his first run-in with off-ice issues. See, Carson, in what wound up being his final season in the NAHL with ASU, despite having a good season with 89 points in 59 games, was dismissed from the team for what ASU deemed a violation of team rules. So pretty vague there as to what that means, but but Carson's explanation was simply that he partied too much, saying, quote, I was just going out. I wasn't taking hockey seriously. It wasn't something bad. It was just not being committed to hockey. I was more committed to having fun at school. Too much partying, that's probably the best way to put it, end quote. Now, simply partying as a college athlete is a bit suspicious to me as reason enough to be completely dismissed, but nonetheless, he was forced to play hockey elsewhere, and in the 2020-2021 season, he joined the Mercyhurst Lakers in what was touted as a second chance, where he has played for the last three seasons. So, with all of that said, I'll be honest, I held off on doing this video at all over the last few days. I wasn't sure it felt right, and I also don't really like piling on, and I don't necessarily want to do that with Carson here either. But while she was anonymous at first, Sydney, as I've now learned, has since come out and introduced herself with a Twitter post as the owner and user of the wheelchair in the video. And her positivity around the attention and the opportunity here to shed some light on something many of us may know little about gave me a different perspective. See, stuff like this needs to be talked about for a few important reasons. First, this is an opportunity for us all to learn, and I know for me, I didn't know the high cost of wheelchairs prior to this, and I also didn't know just how sacred a wheelchair is to those who need them. I mean, it makes complete sense. It's just not something I had thought about. So what has come of all this was a GoFundMe that was created to help cover the high cost of replacing a wheelchair, which raised nearly $9,000 before no longer taking donations, a statement from Mercyhurst Lakers of an internal investigation, and then yesterday confirming it was their students and subsequently announcing an interim suspension for the three players pending the results of their investigation, and both Danny and Carson Breer coming out with statements of their own on the matter with Danny saying he was shocked to see the footage as well as calling it inexcusable and Carson apologizing and promising to do whatever he can to make up for the lack of judgment. Here. So you guys can take and interpret those statements as you wish, but I think what's a cooler opportunity here is to use the virility of the video for good in helping where needed. So first, I encourage you to check out Sydney's TikTok where you'll find posts about her life as a double amputee learning to walk again, which is great to see. And secondly, while the initial GoFundMe was halted with Sydney mentioning she will give all of the leftover money after fixing her wheelchair to give to those with less resources, she happened to share a GoFundMe of Eddie, a young boy with cerebral palsy in need of some funding himself to get a chair he needs to get him rolling around again. So I'll be leaving that in the first line of the description below and I'll be donating to the cause myself as well. But yeah, there's likely more to come of this story in the coming days, but I hope this helped to kind of put some of the pieces of this all together and more than anything, I hope this can be a learning moment, not just for Carson, but a reminder for us all to just be respectful of each other. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.